Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the Argiad Dynasty Part 34. And the Olympian Empire is enormous. Couple of things to catch up on. The Vikings have officially lost up here because the final Norse people have converted to Catholic. And as far as I'm concerned, once you've gone Catholic, you're not really a Viking anymore. So that's a shame. The Vikings have lost. They even aren't doing well over here because Sweden is now Jewish. As are these people. The Khuzarite faith is just crushing it at the moment. Out of nowhere, out of Khazaria, just went and swayed all this area. There's only a couple places left that are actually a Satru. The Norse gods are no longer believed in almost anywhere. Polania came out of nowhere. Is 65 counties and is actually a powerhouse in the area. And it's just this mesh of random lands consisting of, like, six different kingdoms, like, historically. It's just this random mesh of areas. And it's officially got two kingdoms, so once this guy dies, it will it should split two ways. But that is kind of crazy that that happened. Good on you, Polania. And then finally, <clears throat> I was thinking, like, maybe we go after Bulgaria finally, but guess what? Alexander of Thessalonica is already on it. Our heir... Not our heir. Our, one of our greatest descendants of House Diarjiad is soloing Bulgaria. He's going to take it all on his own. We don't have to do a thing. Then he'll have two kingdoms and they'll get split two ways between his children. But that is amazing that he's going to handle Bulgaria for us. Incredible. And Africa is still a mess down here. So I'm going to let my vassals continue to do their thing. So for now, I think Slavoni Slavonia and Croatia are the right calls. We have no factions to deal with. Things are really looking settled right now. We haven't got our one-year notice yet, though I'm assuming that's going to happen somewhat soon. Let's go ahead and declare war on the Kingdom of Croatia. And because Slavonia is between two different duchies, we also need to do a Kingdom level war here. But we have the we've got the piety to spare, honestly, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and, set, let's go ahead and gather here. Yeah, because it's going to be awkward gathering in this area. Whoa! King Chesney won against Count Tsar for the Holy Word of the Duchy of Bohemia. Wait a minute. Okay, so Bohemia won against Luchtenberg. Yeah, the King of Bohemia, by the way, which is which I would debate making this the Utopia if I ever did a Utopia run. It's just surrounded by mountains on all sides. It's got a mine... Uh, this is extra small because there's only three counties at the moment. This is actually what Bohemia should be. These eight counties. But this three-county kingdom hanging in there, apparently. And Pavlina lost her Liberty War. Embarrassing. Imagine losing that. Duke Arnold II of West Francia joined. That's fine. He's nothing, really. He's not going to stop us from winning these wars. She's got 1,100. He's got 4,273, so he's got a little something. Some of our ransoms got accept, ex, accepted. Dukes Eusebios also not going to add much to this war. No problem. This army's almost ready to go. It's just 2K, 2.3k levies. Alright. Sure. It might just be 2.3k levies, but it's more than these guys can handle. Alright, stop gathering, guys. This is this is plenty. We can, we can chill. Just, yeah, just stop. <laughs> We have, we have enough. We have enough. 25 casualties is fine. Stop gathering. Go this way. Stop gathering. Go this way. Everybody roll out. Call to war. Join the war in, uh, against the tyranny of Malika Wonkemi. Rejected the call to an offensive war, lose 350 fame. No, I decline. I'm busy with our own stuff, and honestly, you guys are doing small time compared to what we're doing, if I'm being honest. Small time. 100 casualties, a little rough, but we'll make it. Here we go. Yeah, go get him. This should get him right here. Seven days? They're going in the hills. That should take longer, right? Yeah. We got him. 
eliminated. Admittedly, we do have seven prowess. We don't guard ourselves very well, but we should be good for a little short battle here against a weak opponent. 28 martial advantage going in. We don't have our cataphracts with us, so we won't eliminate them or all of our hetariae. No, they'll definitely survive the battle, but not with too much. Prince Yassin's friendship. Yeah, he's making us frustrated. No, I'm sorry. We gotta take the loss. You're also al Andalus, so why should I care? 413 to 1523. Congrats, Aristarchos, on 107 more kills. It's just that easy for him. Go for the capital. Usur Usari Isaria under siege. I should have clicked on that so I knew where that was, but I'm not really worried about it, all things considered. Despot Raphael's continues completely swayed. On to the next. Wow. My my greatest vassal only likes us at 51? That's not okay. He desires two duchies. Okay. I don't have those duchies, so... I don't know what you want from me. Your cousin Prince Sergios created the Cadet Branch Keklamenos. That's not... That doesn't even have Argiad in its name anymore. It still has it in the picture, I guess. With the lance, I heal the truthful. Interesting quote. Split off the house guard. Uh, the house guard is super easy to repair. That'll be fine. Anapatra died. Rest in peace, Anapatra. There it is. We won war against Tyranny of Pharma Alexander. The one we helped with, we succeeded. So be it. Good job, you guys. You did the thing. We did a lot at the beginning. Oh, hold up. Um, Her? Becomes hers. Yeah, absolutely. I grant you that, Vassal. Baron Pace. Worth 50 gold and he's not that good. Yeah, sell him. Sell him. Isidoros is gaining a gold a month. We'll let that sit. Leontia is gaining 0.6 a month. We'll let that sit, I guess. We're over 10,000 gold. We're in five-digit land. We should have plenty for upgrades once we have the innovations. And it's coming. Battlements are on their way. 14 months. And then we'll have to go for manorialism after that. Household soldiers in 31 years. Coinage in 18 years. But battlements in 14 months. That's coming up this episode. I'd be shocked if we don't move 14 months forward. Fair and peace. Pesse. Uh, yeah, she did. The message was glitched, but she did seek an indulgence, and it worked. So I guess good for her. Okay, so we could assault this now. 16 for 199 casualties. Make it 25 days. Yeah, we'll speed this up. Whoa. My cousin and soulmate. Dude, she was messed up towards the end there, huh? She was a full-on leper. Yeah, she made it to 77. Died a leper. That's pretty good for a leper towards the end. This presence in my bed just as intensely physical as your body used to feel when you wrapped your limbs around me. Yet this present is not you. Presence is not you, Cadmia, for all the longing and anguish you left behind. During the days I keep myself occupied, but here where the memories are so vivid, there is no escape. Will the ache ever fade? Critical stress loss. Ah, hold up. I think we can fix that. Hold up. Post some exotic feast. Send the invitations. How much is that going to cost? 250 <sighs> Fine, we'll take one stress level. It makes us more money, at least. Hula is under siege. Yeah, I see that. Fully ordered got hired out, which, by the way, is 6k strong now. 6193, let's go. Mental break, torrential grief. Um, you gain the trait drunkard. Writing my feelings down will help me process my emotions. We already have that one, yeah. Press on, it's what she would have wanted. Manage grief for five years. Minus one to all stats. But no health loss. Alright. Process those emotions, my man. Hang in there. Sorry, David. That's tough. Mm. 
There it is. Gaka, the capital, has been captured. On to the next location. Is what I could say, but let's just go play defense, shall we? Princess Irene created the cadet branch. Something, something, something. So many cadet branches being formed. And it happened so fast, I didn't even get to see it. A lover's visitation. Oh, wow. A Lake Coslian. Yeah, this is the ghost one. Uh, I see that my it is my dearly departed Duchess Cadmium of Venice sitting beside me. Oh, my sweetness. It's been so long, hasn't it? But when I hold you and kiss you, does the love not return to your heart as if it all happened yesterday? Hold me, more, so Love me all over again. I cannot believe it, yet I see, and feel, see her and feel her. Though I know this to be a dream, it is so vivid I simply cannot resist. Sensual dreams for five years and you lose 85 stress. Wow, that's a fantastic event. Look at this goofball. <laughs> Look at High Priest of Eads whole design, man. What a goof. Hold me like we did so long ago. And just like that, there's no stress remaining. Wow. Yeah, these indulgences messages are definitely broken. But it's still doing the same it's always done. So at least it's got that going for it. Six days? That seems weird. Oh, it doesn't have a commander right now. I was like, why would we lose that? No, we're good. Got him. Plus 24 advantage. Should be a wipe right here. Not a wipe. We don't have enough damage to be a wipe, but we're doing a lot of damage. Prince Aristarchos may Mayor Drislav. Dude, Aristarchos, our next heir, is just crushing it across the board. <clears throat> Captain Aguil of the Zagawa Band of Kadam. Alright. Yeah, they survived the battle, but they definitely lost it. Captured a steward. 343 to 1554. Aristarchos with 147 more kills. Over 100 kills for all four of these. Gennadios, Euphemios, and Eudokia. Whoa. Alright then. Siege 1 in Zagreb. Good. And a prisoner has taken siege. He got his grandson, which is not worth any war score, but he'll pay for him. Those are payments, not ransoms. Okay, interesting. I guess they're not going to pay for him. <clears throat> Neighbors War Resolved. Uh, Amira al Omara Kahina, one against your other neighbor, Tokoy in the Wilaya of Sakaso. Where is that? Oh, Jenny won something else, I guess. Good for Jenny. Neighboring ruler won war. Uh, your neighbor, King Brun of Germany, has won against High Chieftain Sweatpoke in the Brennan Conquest on the county of Havelberg. Okay. So Germany won a war. Good for them. Now these fort levels are getting really high across the board. Alright, since we're just here. Seek indulgences from Mayor Gregoria. Thank you. Yeah, this is the 800 cataphracts. They'll be fine. Playing good company was destroyed and so was the fine sword. Uh, neighboring ruler won war. Fatima of Canem uh, took the Duchy of Bagurm, making her wandering person now. So she's, hers, she's done. Her people are finished. This is a wrap right here, obviously. Little war score didn't hurt, though. Got a count, too. 50 to 495. Now we move him over. Yeah, we still like our odds in this one, but let's, let's have a better leader here. Raphael, lead the way, please. Go help him out, I guess. They shouldn't need it, but go help them out in case they do. Okay. It's a completely even advantage battle. With superior men. Valiant soldiers has managed to wound the enemy Nightmare Philip. Oh, Mayor Philip, you're sad, man. 23 prowess and you got wounded by a normal person? That is a valiant soldier. I had a boy. Someone just way overperformed right there. One of our valiant soldiers managed to wound the enemy Knight Seslov. Wow. <clears throat> Magnificent weapon. Come on, baby. Skill's merely decent. Damn. 
Damn, that's disappointing. I was hoping for more. Obviously. Note for the dedication to your faith, we're back into religious icon territory. Beautiful. 459 to 1441. We joined way too late to get kills onto Aristarchos there. Let's keep it up. These wars will be a wrap pretty soon. I mean, this is over. Once these two finish, this is a wrap. Yeah. I mean, it already is a wrap, but we'll let that finish two months and we would get 27 gold. We're already at war anyway. Might as well. Why not? And then we've beaten uh, Slavonia here. I didn't know if it was Slavonia or, or Slovenia. I forgot, I forgot which one. Slavonia. The Diarjia dynasty is known far and wide. We are now a famous family. Yeah, I bet. It's been 142 years since Granicus start, took over with three counties. And in those 142 years, we are definitely the dominant um, empire in the world. We're definitely not unbeatable. Especially if, like... Let's say Abbasid and Al Andalus put together, like, were to team up on me or something like that, but... Yeah, we are a dominant empire in the world. We better be a famous family by this point. This but Leonidas swayed, good. Uh, Siako lost against your son, Despot Jordanes, for the Duchy of Kaniaga. Hey, we just picked up the Duchy of Kaniaga. Well done, Despot Jordanes. Yo, our, our dwarf kid is... Who's getting high all the time is out here killing it. Hashishia. He's out here doing the weeds. <laughs> doing the weeds. And just conquering places. That's the second war he's won since I started keeping track. <clears throat> Enforce the manse. Thank you for all your territory. We appreciate you. Who is deserving now? Cadmia de Argiad. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Became our vassal. Go ahead and assault the fort again. Make this less than two mu- Wow, that's pretty brutal, actually. But okay. If it'll get the war done sooner, we might as well go for it. There we go. Now it'll be even faster because we have more bodies to throw at the siege. Yeah, 25 days is fine. We can let that ride there. Raphael can lead that to victory, no problem. Amira Alumara, the Holy War. Look, we okay, so Jenny lost another war. Jenny's down to one county. The enemy banner, the Croatian war banner. <laughs> no, we definitely don't need that. Thank you. I'm gonna make a f uh, put it on the celebration pyre. We don't need this useless token. Forty-nine to a thousand fifty. No hateria either. Just straight up, just did it on him. Use a hook. Boom. Ninety-four now from Pisset. Uh, is battle score fifty? It is, battle score is already at capped at 50. All right, fine. There it is, we have battlements. The new cultural innovation of battlements has been researched. We can fortify our buildings, finally. Met at arms maintenance is down 5%. Let's work on manorialism for the next mine upgrade in eight years. Let's go. Upgrade it to a keep for 500 gold. Pricey. Rome is already a keep, that's crazy. We don't have the hoardings innovation. Okay. Viterbo. Upgrade to a keep. Oh, it actually had up other upgrades we could do too. Whoops. Alright, but upgrade it, to, <laughs> upgrade it to a keep. Byzantium. Constantinople. Is already a keep. Alright. 
but we can upgrade the walls and towers to wa to wall towers now. Wall towers act as excellent vantage points, allowing our soldiers to snipe away at approaching en enemy armies safely. When not at war, they're excellent to gloat at peasants from. Perfect. And there you go. We spent a little over a thousand gold there on some upgrades. Uh, I plan on giving these lands away eventually, so no worries on that. Very nice. That's getting there. Getting there. There's like new ones on here. Getting there. Getting there. Nobody's ready to pay us yet. Alright. We can wait. Duke's Gion died, my friend! No! New weapon. It's no good. It's just two prowess. No problem. Then we need to equip another trinket. There you go. These things are great, by the way. Ten years left. Um, I'll repair these things when Aristarchos takes over, because I'll, I'll have to redo all my stuff anyway, and that should help simplify that. Alright, in 27 days we have won the other war, and then we'll be good to go. And this will be the Kingdom of Croatia, which we're going to be giving to Cadmia here. Of Krajina. Alright, Sergius Argiad Leone. That's a good candidate for a marriage partner. A little Game of thrones -y, but we got it. I didn't do it this time. Enforce demands. To the chattering High Priest David, may your years be short and miserable. Okay. Cadmia. Go ahead and grant you... The Kingdom of Croatia. We can hold court again, shockingly. And let us grant... The Kingdom of Croatia to Cadmia. Grant title. The spot state of Croatia. There you go. There's a, there's a quick click to make it happen faster. Voila! Despotisa Cadmia. Let us hold court. We've been in poor health for 10 years and we just keep trucking anyway. Let's go, let's go, David. Here the petitioner's out. Duchess Marquia stands before you, her face grave with concern. My lord, the threat of Abbasid weighs heavy on my mind. Caliph Masoon leaves, looms across the border. We do touch their border now, true. Only days from the gates of Isara and House de Argiad's hearths. We must help fortify my lands and Anata Laconian soldiers. Fortifications are all that stand between Olympus and Ruin. Feudal contract gains fortification rights granted. <clears throat> so they pay us less taxes and they get more fortified rights. And we get a weak hook on her. For 10% less taxes? Really? Nonsense, obviously it's no threat. She's reassured at 89%. <clears throat> I want her building this. Build the castles. Do it. And we get a hook. That's score. That's what that is. We can demand our payment. And then bang. 55 gold back. Nice. The next petitioner is an extremely angry Duke Theodotos of Optimatoi. With the briefest of deference shown, Duke Theodotos relays that some of my knights, led by Basilissa Ermina Gilda of Olympus... Oh no. My wife, what have you done? What have you done? You gotta return your plunder. She's got 300 gold from the plunder she made. She loses 20 opinion of us, but whatever. We lose 91 stress because we're just. This is the right thing to do. You must return your plunder, Ermina Gilda. Oh, you bitch. He was greedy. He didn't he didn't use it to restore the county. Oh, you suck. Before me stands my son, Despot Yordanes, his head hung low. You have been a very successful son of mine. My lord Kuka has been hit hard by the recent enemy occupation. The people are starving, our fields are not recovering, and our livestock is not enough to survive anymore. We beg you to intervene and to save your devoted subjects with your great magnanimity. He balance deeply and falls silent. Some gold to help lessen your sufferings? Which we could get some of it back on the weak hook. It gains county investment for development growth. Tax relief for 10 years. 
Half holding taxes. Okay. And he gets big development growth in popular opinion. Why would I do that? Um, I will grant you tax relief to get back up. There you are. Now pay me immediately. 70 of it. And then for the next 10 years, you'll pay me half in taxes. You're welcome. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking about themselves about the recent proceedings. My business here is done. Dude, look at Philip of Burgundy. He's not even technically a giant. This guy is a giant. Look at this dude. Oh my god. Show me his uh family tree. Is he is he related to Duke to the Chad Theophanes? Has to be, right? Raphael? Roxana? Leonidas? Alexandria and Besprim? I guess not. He's directly linked to Granicus, though. I mean, everybody is. Everybody's linked to Granicus in the Diarjia dynasty if you go far enough. My business here is done. Very good. Alright, so yeah, that war went well. How's Bulgaria doing? They're losing 42% to our son Alexander. Keep it up, Alexander. Keep up the pressure. Could go for Hungary next. It'll be a little off kilter. We won't get exactly what we're looking for, but... Oh my god, actually. This Despotate of Croatia is absolutely in the way. We can't do that at the moment. Could take the Duchy of Bohemia. There's two Palabias. Here's the less impressive Palabia. That Bohemia is free. Do any of these have the mine in it? I'm not seeing it. Castlan is the one that has the mine right here. And they haven't... Castlav. And they haven't built it? What are y'all doing? That would be so huge for you to have. Can we declare... Oh. Oh my god, they split up. The Al-Andalus fell apart because of what we did. Damn straight. That'll teach you guys. That'll teach you to mess with us. And all these places of Navarra, all the Catholics got some land back. Oh my god. That'll teach you to touch Mallorca. We're taking these places back. This guy is... Oh my god. Look how sm tiny his head is for how bulky he is. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, are we ready though? Like, can I... Could I do this if I wanted to? Which I do. Seven months. We can wait seven months. No problem. So somewhere around April of, of 1010 AD, we'll be ready. <clears throat> Our faith has 70 fervor. That's pretty good. The Hellenic, in a, the Hellenic culture is still killing it. The Croatian Nestorian populace, yeah, they can go ahead and try. Uh, wow, they lost the Liberty War. Uh-oh. Interesting. 29 years, 8 years, and 17 years. So we got, we got some years left. So you can't do High Medieval until 1050 AD, no matter how fast you go. Um... If we discover two more innovations by 1050, which we will, it will insist that our, the era is available, but I don't think it will be from my past experiences. Hard to say, to be honest. And then we might go Manganels after Manorialism once we have the, the buildings that we want to build. We don't need Armored Horsemen. We have Cataphracts, which are even better. Yeah, they're just Cataphracts, but worse. Movement Speed would be good. Manganels would be good. We got a couple things left we want on this stage of culture. Especially since Household Soldiers is going to happen on its own from all that progress earlier. So good. Alright, so we're chilling till March. The Hellenic faith has spread extremely far. Greetings, my benevolent liege. I've arrived in Kegliar to pay homage to you. Despotissa Cadmia served me well. 50 renown for the family. Thank you. And we get 10 renown a month right now. Look at all those bonuses. Yeah, let's go. Priest of Aries has been called. We get two just for having over 100 living members, of which we have 243 living members. In 142 years. 
our dynasty has gone from one surviving member to 243. Oh, the world knows now. Alexander the Great's lineage is out here doing everything. Well, Suffrey out here. Is that an organized faith? It is! An organized Muslim faith kind of took over down here. I didn't notice that. Stewardship. Popular figurehead. Popular opinion plus 50. <clears throat> that means that uh, in these cities and stuff, popular opinion just went way up. Which is great. Yeah, nice. So popular opinion should be really high now. In Rome, plus 60. Viterbo, it looks like plus 60 basically everywhere. Byzantium might be mad at me. Plus 44 because of integration continues, but... We speak Greek, so only minus one cultural acceptance. Seek indulgences from uh, Mary Euphemios, okay, thank you. We make 25 gold a month right now? We can finally afford to upgrade our military. I can't believe it. Been a long time coming. We can finally get another cataphract group. These are so superior to anything else we can make that it's not even worth making the other types right now. Like, these are so superior. Absolutely superior. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and make our next cataphract group. And that costs about 2000 to do that. And cut our income down by about 13 at the moment. But we have the, we have the money, that's for sure. Alright, make sure our vassals are happy again. Despot Philip of Burgundy is now our most powerful vassal. Theophanes of Hellas is powerful. These are the two main vassals. Everyone else is at like 16, 22, 14, 10. 69 and 65, Burgundy and Italy. Does he own some of this? Is this part of Burgundy, technically? Come on, guys. I'm trying to see <laughs> what... I don't think it is. Burgundy is, uh... No, it's it's here. It's got this little county right here. It's kind of decorated around. It's up here too. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's sizable for sure, for sure. But it's also two kingdoms, so Bavaria will separate soon enough after they pass off, pass away. March of ten ten. Are we ready? Thirty seven more days. It was April, wasn't it, that we were supposed to be waiting for? Great minds. Amir Jatab Algarb has approached me, intimating that he would like to engage and learn discourse on a topic of my choosing. He's clearly trying to befriend me. Yes, let two great minds meet. 56 stress down? Yeah, this is what we'd rather do anyway. And he gets 20 opinion. We're also great minds. 36 learning on him and 50 learning on High Priest David. These are some crazy geniuses. And we've been in poor health for 11 years. That's crazy. How old is Aristarchos? 44 at this point. He had one child, and she can't have kids anymore. So unless he cheats, we only have one kid, which means the next succession should be a dream anyway. Hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Absolutely. And he's a comely genius who's already brave. Bossy even. I'd love to educate that child if I could, but I don't have the martial learning. Who's his current guardian? Aristarchos? He's also a genius. I'm sure he'll do a good job. But we could we could also just choose. Uh, he wouldn't do it anyway. Damn! Alright, fine. Aristarchos, you're not Hellenic? You are, but your kid isn't? It's Supri? What? All right, Mayor Theodosios, thank you. Zarma won against Tahua. Those are inconsequential entities, to be honest, to us. Wow, this is a small raise right here. 42 days. All right, so we can definitely declare war here. Easy conquer county there. We can definitely claim this here. Easy conquer, easy conquer county there. What is your claims? Oh, it's cheaper. Yeah, give me that back. I have direct claim on that. Give it back. Um. 
Apparently we can't conquer his kingdoms for whatever reason. Barcelona is basically a duchy. We can get almost all Barcelona here. Might as well. It's a good follow-up here. And then those will be the wars that we're fighting for now. 5,500 defenders. 270. 206. 164. This guy has a bunch of allies, though, so this will stack up fast. Um, this guy has... kind of. Not really, though. Oh, we had Barcelona as an ally. That's funny. Alright, to raise them. In 42 days, we will make our move. Holy Order has been summoned. Ooh, like a real-sized army there. Alright, Barcelona will be able to give us a real fight. Whereas we just take Mallorca for free. We'll just send levies to the Mallorcan Islands. Amir Jatab's friendship. I never expected I was grow as close to Amir Jatab as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, he's proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man. Wish I could sway him to my religion. On multiple occasions, he's proven himself to be a... Oh, yeah, my, with only my best interests at heart. So rare to find a true friend. There you go. We'll do that, sure. No reason not to. Sure, why not? He's a somewhat powerful man, too. Pause. Alright, split off the two Hateria here. Here. Um Levies. Split off the two Hateria. Aristarchos 48. What a guy. And I guess we could send. Okay. Let's join all these together. These three two thousand peasant armies will go hit. The three Mallorcan Islands. And that'll be a wrap there. 60 gold, unfortunately, but we're about to spend a lot of money because of the boats we're going to have to hire here. It is what it is. Yeah, this is going to be 126 gold in 30 days. Pricey, but we have to bring a real army over to Barcelona, so that'll work. And then we'll hold on to the Holy Order in case we have to defend Cagliardi from enemy ships. I'd like to summon the Holy Order right now, but I think I'd rather be ready for enemy ships. Amir Hakam formed a new alliance. Good for you. Alright, here comes, uh, one army. 164 is not gonna cut it, my guy. It's It may just be all levies, but by sheer numbers, you're not gonna be able to stand up. Chima Montagi of DMR. Okay. Um, again, same with you. 273... A thousand? He hired 850 mercenaries to help out. Okay. All right. Hold up. We'll have to wait for that one. Gonna have to wait for that one. They're ready now. Let's go to Barcelona. Be there soon. Let's just demand the payments we can now. They're more or less ready. Your Danes can marry. What happened to your Danes wife? It's a lot of payments. Some of them very good too. Your Danes, you lost your wife, huh? What's the most skilled wife he could have? He's already got plenty of children. We don't need more kids. Nicoletta Doxapatris is comely and very high in stewardship. That'll be great. And she's noble-born, which um, Loremaster is a fan of, clearly in the comments. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And she's unlanded, though. So there you go. Boom. Despot Jordanes, that's a great wife for you. Dismiss 57 to 158. So that siege will take 10 months. And this siege will take 10 months. And I'll go ahead and hang out here while we're waiting for enough people to take this middle one. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I graciously take the hand of your son, your Danes, in holy matrimony. Despotissa Nicoletta. Your comely, great stat combination, plus the fact... Obese. You don't look obese to me. You've got that rocking. Um, yeah. Excellent. Very good. 
Very good wife for your dance. Being raided? People still do that? It's 1010 AD. Guys, it's time to move on from your tribal roots. What are you doing? Oh my good god. They're coming with a lot of heat real fast, huh? Indulgences from Princess Simonis. Chancellor impresses Debegum Yonsan. Sure. <clears throat> Let's move for the capital. Oh, wow. We have to actually do this first. Damn. I goofed. I didn't realize I'd be stuck here first. Oh, this is it. I can feel it in my very bones. Hades will come for me soon. Like an old friend, he's patiently waiting to receive me. All right. I'll be dead within a year. September of 1011, huh? You made it a long way, my man. A long way. Perfect succession coming up as well. You did good. You did really good. You can definitely be proud of what you've accomplished. Onagers and levies. Take everyone else and move them over. So hold up. We can move 5,500 there. Alright, so this 5500 can move here and be supplied. 4000 there and 2400 there. Uh, we can't move there actually. Alright, some of them are going to have to be undersupplied regardless. There, it doesn't look like there's a way around that for the moment. But let's go ahead and remove me from here. So we can finish here. David, you were great! You were one of the greats! For sure! September of 1011, huh? He won't see to see 1012, probably. He lived... Baron Heraklios. He lived in poor health for 12 years, going on 13 years. He made it way longer than he had any rights to, to be honest. Well done. David did a lot of good work. David accomplished many, many things. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Absolutely. Alright, David, your final battle. Lead them to victory. 18,000 versus 12,791. They have defensive advantages. They have the defensive building. But they're over 10 years in debt? No, they're not. What are you talking about? But this guy is... Oh, you messed up. Over 10 years in debt is minus... 40! We're doing double damage! Increased by 104% in this battle. Oh, they've really messed up. They, look at, they have 38 Fari. And their prowess is still way less than our 14. Look at that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. And we're on planes, which means our cataphracts are about to pop off. They're dealing 96% damage due to being countered by pikemen, but 96% is basically full damage. Oh, yeah. Cook them. Despot Raphael was slain by Alama Hakam? No way! No way! Despot Raphael, no! Now it's Despot Philip of Burgundy. And he got both kingdoms, really? How did he manage that one? I mean, he's a great kid, too. I just, damn. Rest in peace, Raphael. Shocking you would die in this one. Basilissa Ermina Gilda wounded Hakam Kaysid because our wife is actually a pretty good warrior and she fights alongside us. Alright, we won't wipe him out. There's just too many people. Despot Philip wounded Kudiar. Philip already making an appearance here. Despot Philip killed Sheik Bashar II. Couldn't quite wipe them out. But the Cataphracts will pursue them hard right here. Oh, not as hard as I thought. 50% got his son and heir. And won a 19% battle. Uh-oh. Rest in peace, Despot Raphael. You little good life. 1979 to 6329. They put up a fight anyway. 2,000 kills from our Terrier. 2646 from the Cataphracts. Aristarchos had 255 kills in that fight. I think that's a new one fight record as far as I'm aware. Philip 184. Eudokia 175. Helios 175. Euphemios 169. Starachios 153. Genadios 144. 
Apollonia, 143. Alexander of Thessalonica, 143. Georgia, 127. Zacharias, 116. Ermina Gilda, 116. Leonidas of Italy, 111. And Raphael had 12 before he got taken down. Everyone that survived had over 100 kills. Our Heterie are absolutely insane with 275% effectiveness and the high prowess built in from our culture and faith. Woo! That is incredible. Wali can be sold. Eudokia can be sold. Sheik Sunyer. Uh, I, it's either him or Prince Ashab, and I don't want to risk it being the wrong one, so we'll stay with that for now. Back to this process. That was a great battle right there. Your daughter learned Saninki language. The Saninki language, okay. Let's go with Nicorette. And then we split off, uh... 5,000 can fit here. 49.25 can't fit there, but it is what it is. Indulgences from Mayor Thedolos. Sway religious convictions. I've gotten an idea in my attempts to align Despot Philip to my interests. With the right arguments, I may be able to convince him that I am acting not merely in my own interest, but in the interest of the Thunderer himself. I believe I can make a very convincing argument. 95% he's convinced. Oh, yeah. There you go. We're done. That's a wrap. He is so convinced. Next up, Despot Theophanes of Hellas is by far the lowest in the powerful vassal category. Wow, he does not like us. He's old Hellenic. Well, let's fix that. Zealous. Damn. Minus 53 from Offensive War. That is a problem. No wonder he doesn't like us. <laughs> Minus 53 from Offensive War. I'm telling you, if we could, if we didn't have By the Sword and the Faith that allows us to keep warmongering, this Offensive War penalty would have slowed us so much. Greek Orthodox Populace, okay. Seven casualties every day to speed this up. That's fine. That's not a lot. And we'll have more than 550, so this will succeed. Alright. Duchess Marquia. There it is. Alright, now we can go for the capital of Barona. Um, we can split this in half. And send each to somewhere where they can actually be supplied. And we can send this to where they can be supplied. Perfect. Oh! Yes, we did win this. You took the foe. Ransom, because that's all he's worth is that one island. So we can ransom him and win. Countess... Oh, pause! Countess Romaine. Accept. A siege one. Prisoner taken. Siege one. Prisoners taken. Wonderful. This is almost done right here. All right. So it's like that again, is it? All right. What do you want your territories back? You upset? Are you a little mad? Are you a little mad? Yeah, you're a little mad. The Umiad dynasty is fabled and all, but they're nothing to the Diarjeds. Oh, who's upset? Rally the troops. We'll deal with you in a second. We may be at war as this time, and you may have caught us somewhat unprepared but it's not nearly as unprepared as that other time yeah it's not even comparable before so be it all right Let's go ahead and do that. Enforce. So be it. We cannot give... Wait, what? Barcelona doesn't have the same air anymore? What happened? What? We had the air bonus. What happened? Did I, did I mess something up? That might have been me. Also, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? 
Why have I not been here doing something? I'm so stupid. Minorca, peasant rabble. Enemy allies join the war. You go ahead and do what you gotta do. You're not doing anything here. Barcelona's not gonna be able to put up a fight. This isn't gonna be able to put up a fight. We've already won. You just don't know it yet. Which is a great place for us to be in. Alright, we have supplies again. Let's land here and get the disembark penalty out of the way first. It's April of 1011. We don't have much time for this world! Count Ifni has been using his influence to push for the advancement of the Liberty Faction. They seek to nullify several laws in the Empire of Olympus that, that they believe will interfere with the traditional rights of the nobility. Is this an actual thing that's a problem? I mean, not really. <laughs> okay. Well, I do not doubt his convictions. He is of the wrong faith. We'll have to work on that. Uh, if these convictions, he's only human. If I can convince him to curb these activities, it will make it easier for me to consolidate the power I have over my vassals. Um, he's trusting, brave, and calm. If he helps me now, I'll return the favor. Old-fashioned fact flattery is good at inspiring loyalty. I'll try to spend prestige. Why not? Can't hurt. He might like 350 prestige. It'll get him out of the negative. Vassal renounces faction. Yes. By making it abundantly clear what he has to gain by being loyal to me, I managed to convince Count Ifni to drop his support for the Liberty Faction. His grievances were simply too insignificant compared to what I had to offer. I knew I could make him see reason. Paid him 350 prestige. Made it easy. Oh, they're not getting supplies there. Whoops. Let Barcelona know what we're feeling right now. Still haven't broken down the walls, though. Disembarked has gone in 15 days, and it takes 7 days to get there, so... Pavlina? Oh, these are insignificant counties. Not worried about it. Alright, five days. It'll be done by the time you all get there. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Group up. Come on, Barcelona, let's see it. I'm right wait I'm waiting for you. What do you bring to the table? I'm ready. We're under supplied and you're still not gonna do it. Hit the capital hard. 260 casualties every day to make it 11 days. That'd be 3,000 casualties, though. No thanks. Gained artifact claim. Yeah, okay. Vassal taken prisoner. Duchess Nicoletta was taken prisoner by Hungary. Interesting. How's the Bulgaria war going? They're not losing as badly anymore. Why are you winning by less now? Get it together, Alexander. 188 to 294. I really wanted you to win that. Look at all these armies. <laughs> yeah. We already beat them off. Seek indulgences from Count Aegidius, spy master. Interesting. Again, uh, in, in, in unimportant war. Three counties versus three counties is whatever. I can't believe we lost the air somehow. What happened there? He's part of Rosello, who's part of Barcelona, and Prince Ashab is also part of Alsark. Okay, so we can we can sell Prince Ashab for sure. And Wally here. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Not not sure at all. Seek so indulgences to the benign David. Accept. That's been accepted. We got more captures here. 121 to 758. And now this should be a wrap in 8 months, okay? They're still coming up with a plan. They've got <laughs> something at least. But I'm not worried about it. The Munificence of Wati. In the past few days, neighboring Wali Wati has been visiting my court on his way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he's been outshining me with his generosity towards my own courtiers. We have seen this before. I'll take advantage of his silly generous generosity, but uh... 300 golds, no. 
Better him spending than me. Let's take the three court grandeur. Go nuts. Oh, another one. There's another weapon inspiration in here. A master. And he wants to create an axe. Absolutely. 105 to forge an axe. That is happening. Make it so, my man. Damn straight I want one of those. Alright, now where are we at? Six days left for... 100 casualties a day. That's fine. Secret exposed. My vassal Baron Hippolytus has accused my vassal Duke Samad of having copulated with his lover, Mayor Parthena. Zeus will judge the sinners. Took his son. Okay. Now we just do one good battle here. That should be a wrap, right? Should be. Should be. And then we'll have... Because we need how much war score? 25%. And we can get that from this battle. So. This is your last battle, David. Like, this is it. Because in about a month, you said you were going to die of old age. Let him know. Give him everything. We're in the hills, so that's not great for cataphracts. But they'll be okay. They keep joining with more people. Jesus. Faction disbanded, good. Wall towers constructed in Constantinople, good. Byzantians got wall towers. We can upgrade even further to a second curtain wall, wow. Take the upgrades that we can get, absolutely. Alright, keep wiping them out. Doesn't matter how many they add, they're still losing in the end. Though they did put up a fight. Our Heteria, Duchess Georgia something. Tyranny War against King Chesney. Yeah, he won. Vessels Ermine and Gilda killed Wally Dalmau. Keep getting him. You gained the trait wounded. No! We weren't long for this world anyway, but no! Iron Constitution will counter that, but... Yeah, with five prowess, that was kind of doomed to happen, wasn't it? Lost trait, wo trait wounded. Let's go Sa Saeed Jatir. This, oh, I was going to say, this battle might end and we might instantly die. 96%, huh? 31.90 to 65.70. 2,700 kills from the Heteria. 2,400 from the Cataphracts. Aristarchos with a new record. 358 kills in a single battle. Philip almost got there with 299. Give it to him on a gimme. Starakios 271, 253, 238, 232, 200, 200, 187, 170, 166, and Zacharias 164. Their best had 66. I mean, not bad, actually. Dismiss. Aristarchos has to have killed, like, 2,000 2, opponents on the field of battle. Like, actually. Absolutely wild what he's done. Take the payments I can get. I'm about to die. Siege 5. This is also a 5. Alright, we'll just siege this one and, uh... There it is. You have died. High Priest David of the Hellenic High Priesthood has given up the ghost at 77 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library, rarely leaving his castle. High Priest Aristarchos ascends to the throne, possessing a mighty physique and an exceptionally astute mind. His, sure, his rule is sure to spawn both song and tale. Damn straight. Damn straight. No titles lost on succession is perfect. We ruled as, as David for 25 years, but I gotta say, those 25 years... It felt longer than that. It felt longer than 25 years. We had a full rule with High Priest David. Died of old age at 77. That's the way to go. Cultural head of the Hellenics at the time. He was dreaded. Yes, he was. He was a living legend, a religious icon. Stewardship was good. And he fought in 31 wars, 22 offensive, and surprisingly, 9 defensive wars. What were these people on attacking us that often? Not a single title lost. And now we show the lineage. Going all the way back. High Priest Granicus, the largest of them all, easily. Absolute unit. 
We ruled with him for 89 years. Then Alexandria took the torch for six years to hand it off to High Priest Granicus II, who we ruled as for 25 years, the hunter. And then we ruled as High Priest David for 25 years. And they kept getting, <laughs> they kept getting shorter as it went. But now Aristarchos back up top here. All right. He's not done yet. He's already fought in 12 wars, apparently. Six offensive, six defensive. And this is where we'll pick up next time. Continue as High Priest Aristarchos. With the passing of my father, High Priest David, the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and rearrange my shirt. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. Long live the Basilius. Alright, Aristarchos. It's time we grew it in. Alright, I'll do all this next time, actually, but let me just put the Iron Lombardi crown on. Gotta have that continuity. There we go. And we'll customize everybody next time. We only have one heir, so there's no... Yeah, there's nothing to lose. It's so good. It's so good. This is perfect. We already have a hundred dread. This guy's an absolute menace. He's a... Okay, again. I'm gonna... Blade Master. Oh my god. Alright, we'll continue this next time. I'm super stoked to take over as High Priest Aristarchos. Very excited for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 with the Argead Dynasty. And rest in peace, David. You were an absolute unit. We'll see all of you next time.